The Void Drifter is Kiana's augmented Valkyrie Ranger battlesuit. Depending on her equipment, the Void Drifter is able to play any role in the team. She shares a leader skill with her primary battlesuit. Her basic attacks are ranged and increase in attack speed when repeatedly attacking an enemy. They also have a high chance of causing enemies to bleed upon landing a critical hit. With the fourth attack sequence, she's able to create an Enerstrom that pulls enemies to its location. An Enerstrom is also created when activating her evasion skill with an ultimate evasion. Enerstroms also apply void marks on enemies and restore 8 SP to the Void Drifter when created. It's worth noting that Enerstroms can only be activated when there are targets available. With her combo attacks, she uses a subspace lance and switches to melee attacks, gaining the ability to ignore interruption and increasing her defense by 60%. On the third sequence of her combo, she inflicts a time slow on void marked enemies. Her combo attacks grow stronger with every hit, deal increased damage to void marked enemies, but also increases her Heyasha charge. The Heyasha charge has a maximum capacity of 600, and each combo attack sequence increases the Heyasha charge by 100. Performing the fourth basic attack sequence and creating Enerstroms decreases the Heyasha charge by 50 per action. Completely filling the Hyasha charge causes Kiana to enter inner turmoil. While in this state, Kiana is temporarily incapacitated, losing her ability to attack, evade, and use weapon skills. When triggered, inner turmoil also stuns nearby enemies and gradually removes Kiana's Hyasha charges. Teammates also gain 12 SP and 20% total damage multiplier for 12 seconds. To deal with the negative effects of Inner Turmoil, teammates can be switched in, or the Void Drifter's ultimate skill can be used. Her ultimate skill completely and instantly removes her Heyasha charges upon activation, stuns and Void Marks enemies, and increases her critical rate by 20% for 7 seconds. Adding that to the passives from her combo attacks before its activation, Kiana's offensive capabilities gain an immense boost. There are multiple combinations of equipment that can fit the Void Drifter. With her array of skills, she is able to adapt to all situations, but with varying degrees of effectiveness. As a support Valkyrie, the Void Drifter can primarily be used to gather enemies in drawn-out battles. She gains Ignore Interruption and Total Damage Reduction on Entry or Ultimate Evasion, and an additional 8 SP when creating an Enerstrom, enabling her to use support weapon active skills with ease. Being a good shieldbreaker and dealing considerable damage, Void Drifter plays both the role of physical support and sub-DPS, which can be useful in teams where the main DPS Valkyrie isn't fully equipped. After gathering enemies, she can proceed to unleash her combo attacks and eventually enter Inner Turmoil. Doing so provides SP and total damage to the team, in addition to stunning nearby enemies. Ending her combo on void marked enemies with the third sequence provides an added advantage of inflicting time slow, which can be used to trigger time slow QTEs. When it comes to Kiana playing a support role, Milner and Judgment of Shamash are excellent choices. Milner's active skill itself is a good shieldbreaker, and when put in the hands of a Valkyrie who's also a good shieldbreaker, it creates a situation where the main DPS almost never has to deal with shields. Judgment of Shamash provides an increase in damage for a longer duration than Milner is able to, but has a longer cooldown and HP limitations, making it more useful in a boss fight than in drawn out battles. With the Void Drifter's ability to constantly use weapon skills, Gustav Klimt T and M make a great combination. Being a support for sustained combat, Ogier B makes a great option. The full set of Theresa Origins is also a good option, lowering the cooldown of weapon active skills, buffing the user, and most importantly, providing bonus physical damage to the team. To be capable of filling the role of main DPS in boss fights, the right equipment is paramount to the team's success. Tranquil Arias provides a tremendous momentary boost in total damage, which is ideal against bosses. In combination with Drive Komita's passive or Blueberry Blitz's ultimate skill, Shenlong's Guardians can provide a considerable boost in physical damage while enemies are weakened. When taking on bosses in the Memorial Arena, Schrodinger T's 205% total damage multiplier buff is unparalleled and is well worth re-rolling for.
Naturally, providing the highest amounts of physical damage, Plank and Leer make the best options for the M and B parts respectively. However, replacing them with Dark Xianyun, M and B can also produce similar results. In sustained combat, the Keys of the Void can work well with the Void Drifter's innate passive ability to increase her own critical rate and damage. Milner comes in handy with both active and passive skills being beneficial. Due to the Void Drifter's playstyle of having to constantly switch out, Tranquil RSS passive can be refreshed and fully utilized. Leveraging on the Void Drifter's attack speed, Schrodinger Brands' full set can reach its full potential in a short amount of time, as a set that elevates the potential of combo attack users, and with the added bonus of the 3 set ability on Kiana, Schrodinger Band buffs every aspect of the Void Drifter battlesuit in sustained combat. Despite providing a considerable amount of physical and total damage, along with a huge buff in critical damage, Michelangelo T and B provide a lower critical rate, making it harder to utilize the bonus critical damage. Even though Michelangelo M provides critical rate, the 3 set ability does not do much for the user, and replacing the M stigma with Ekaterina or Plank will greatly benefit the user in the long run. Zoro M could also work well, as it provides an increase in critical rate, and yet another huge boost in critical damage. With 7 hits in her basic attack sequence, the Void Drifter can effortlessly max and maintain Jingwei's Wings' passive ability. Being 6 attack and 7 critical behind the keys of the Void, and Void Drifter not needing the active skill from either, Jingwei's Wings makes not only a cost-effective option, but a good option in general. When pressed for alternatives, the two-set ability of Picasso T and M can prove to be a great asset against bosses. In teams where the Void Drifter's QTE can be constantly activated, Dark Xianyun's two-set ability also proves to be a strong combination. Jingwei T with Dark Xianyun M and B can actually make a strong set against bosses. Though each has an inherent weakness, Attila B and Fuhua Pride B both fit the bill as a cost-effective alternative for B Stigmata. For team composition, the Void Drifter actually requires very specific setups to bring out her potential against bosses. All Valkyries and equipment in the team work as one, and with a single component missing, the team would likely fail to achieve the desired results. The Heiasha of the Void, although most commonly known as a main DPS, provides one of the best leader skills for physical damage Valkyries. Her abilities to swiftly apply debuffs and trigger time slow QTEs makes her an integral part of this combination. Weapons should be chosen according to the boss the team is up against. In some cases, no specific weapon is required. For Stigmata, Tesla Band T for a passive physical damage increase to the team, Beethoven M in teams where the main DPS uses melee attacks, and Isaac Newton B for its total damage multiplier debuff are chosen. Despite a slight time restraint, the M Stigma is interchangeable with May Beach Party M. With the Celestial Hymn's QTE impairing enemies, it not only lowers their defense by 50% for 7 seconds, it also triggers the Void Drifter's QTE. Together with her passive ability to increase the team's critical damage by 30% on impaired enemies, and including her 25% boost to the team's physical damage for 7.5 seconds when deploying her cross, the Celestial Hymn also has little to no alternatives in this combination. Not forgetting an additional 10% critical rate, if the cross deployed, is the 11 Sacred Relic. Entering the field with her QTE and deploying her cross allows the Celestial Hymn to cross out all requirements needed to utilize Gustav Klimt T and M with Isaac Newton B. The Blood Embrace Elf helps greatly with shield breaking and can save a lot of time that might otherwise have to be spent on rerolling for critical hits and Schrodinger T damage. <laughs> Here are some other Valkyries that can work well with the Void Drifter, not just against bosses, but also in sustained combat. 
Molotov Cherry's leader skill works great with melee DPS Valkyries, but varies greatly according to her rank, which the level of her leader skill is dependent on. Having an evasion skill that triggers a global time fracture is an added bonus in strategies where a second rotation is required. As a great sword wielder, she can also use Dark Xianyun's sword. With passive skills that are able to trigger the Void Drifter's QTE, and shielding that can be useful in various situations, Drive Komita and Yamabuki Armor make excellent choices in any situation. When used properly, Blue Bear Woods' ultimate skill is able to trigger global time fractures and weaken enemies. Her QTE also triggers a global time fracture and is fairly easy to activate. With a low SP requirement, she is able to effectively utilize the two-set ability of Tchaikovsky. Combining that with Ogier B makes her a great support. If available, any two parts from the Beethoven Sigmata set are highly recommended. Bluebird Blitz also happens to be a great sword user and is able to equip the Dark Xianyun sword. Valkyrie Chariot is yet another support Valkyrie that has an ultimate skill with a low SP cost, allowing her to easily make use of the Tchaikovsky and Beethoven 2 set abilities. Even though the Void Drifter herself is capable of gathering enemies, Valkyrie Chariot's ultimate skill can pull in enemies from a longer distance. Void Drifter can then proceed to use her Enerstroms to continue holding them in one place. There's still a multitude of Valkyrie and equipment combinations other than those suggested. In essence, as a support, the difference between the Void Drifter and Valkyrie Ranger is the Void Drifter's ability to go on the offensive and be a sub DPS. And even though she's capable of dealing tremendous amounts of damage, she does require specific setups that might not easily be accessible. It's best to fit her into teams according to the equipment and Valkyries available.